Let me tell you a little bit about our case study, what we did uh, at kickoff this year. I'll set the stage here. Uh, Corporate Visions was, uh, was one company that became four. We acquired three, uh, three companies around 2013, 2014. So going into 2015, we had about 40 salespeople that we needed to get fluent on our product, really, so that they could go out and sell it. We had six point of view presentations that they had to learn. Who here has a, power, uh, a point of view that you've developed with Corporate Visions? Okay, so a point of view message is essentially the why change message that will motivate your prospects and buyers to move off the status quo. And we have one for each of our products that our salespeople needed to learn. And then we had three different buyer profiles. So um, it wasn't just talking to one person. You have to talk to someone in sales, sales leadership, and you may be selling skills, a skills solution to them versus a marketing buyer. And those two buyers are very different. So we needed to make sure that they were up to speed and able to talk to those different buyers with these different POVs. So quite a challenge. But we started by thinking about how do we approach this learning activity in the same way that we recommend for you guys. Let's see, oops, just hitting the button. And, and here's what we did. When we provide a skills training solution for you, there are three components that we ask your participants to do. The first is pre-work. Then they go into a workshop, a two-day workshop, and experience hands-on coaching and feedback from their peers. And then finally, they have some kind of reinforcement activity. So that's essentially what we did. We used Commercial Tribe in order to, uh, to have them do their pre-work. So they did practice and record themselves. Most people recorded themselves before the kickoff, kickoff activity. But we gave them the opportunity then afterwards as well because they got coaching from their peers in this hands-on uh, number two kickoff activity here to go back and re-record themselves if they thought they could do better. Uh, if they, and, and some of them honestly didn't do it before kickoff and so they had the opportunity in the first quarter to go back and finish what they didn't, what they didn't do. Um, so to prepare them, the first part of the pre-work, we gave them these um, uh, a PDF of the script so they were able to print it out, read it, and practice. And Paul said six and a half times is what they were practicing before they, or what they might hit re-record on. And I can tell you 100% of them practiced 10, 15, or more times drawing it on their own whiteboard or flip chart before they even turned on Commercial Tribe. And I can tell you that from my own experience as well. Before you even turn on Commercial Tribe or any other, you know, any video application, you're practicing a whole bunch because you don't want to hit re-record, you know, 40 times. And we actually did have some salespeople who, who hit re-record 40 times. Um, 62 is the high water mark, by the way. Is it? Okay, that's good to know. So I don't feel too bad. I don't feel as bad. Um, I, I mean, some of those re-records are like, hi, welcome to, oh, dude, I said welcome. I meant to say, you know, we're we phrasing instead of you phrasing. And so there were, you know, some of them were just silly mistakes and we could probably collect bloopers. That would be like a whole nother thing. Um, and that would be fun. And then we, what's that? Really? Oh no. <laughs> I'm sure I was on one of them, right? Uh, then we had a video demonstration. So within Commercial Tribe, they loaded in a brain shark for, for us of Tim, recording, having recorded the, uh, the POV so they could listen to it, watch it. And then um, we also sprinkled some examples in for them to get started so they could watch other people doing it in Commercial Tribe before they got started as well. We had at least one example uh, when the assignment went out kind of placed in there. And then we had a Q&A session where people were able to ask questions. Is this what that means? Is that what that means? And finally, they practiced, recorded in Commercial Tribe, and then they came to kickoff. So they came to their um, experience. And when they came into the room, uh, what we did was assign them with a situation card based on what the buyer was. So I have recorded myself delivering the POV in Commercial Tribe. I feel pretty confident about it. But we know we have those three buyer portfolios. And you can't just deliver a POV you know, as if you're reading it, because every human is different and is going to have different needs. So we had them tailor their presentation. We gave them five minutes to prepare. They thought about, what am I going to say? What questions am I going to ask? How, do, how am I going to personalize this for the person that I'm meeting with? 
Um, we had them broken into six rooms, and they spent t about two hours in each of the rooms. And we had them broken up by experience and which business they came from. So when they were presenting in the room to this buyer, they also had uh, six or seven of their peers from different areas of, of corporate visions in order to give them coaching and feedback. And the conversations that we had in the room were so rich because they are making assumptions based on their new knowledge that then they could ask a peer, like, what do you say? And how does this work for you? And what kind of response do you typically get? So we had really rich conversations in those two hours uh, where they were able to dive deeper and really get feedback and coaching and then make it better, which is why we gave them the opportunity to go back into Commercial Tribe afterwards and re-record themselves if they wanted, if they felt like they could do it better. Yeah. So